As a driver of one of North Carolina's more than 13,000 school buses, you perform one of the most important jobs in the state as you transport our most precious cargo, the 800,000 students that ride our buses each day. And while the trip itself is important, the loading and unloading of passengers is even more critical and should not be taken for granted. These are important steps in making sure your students are safe while they are in your care. Because of this, the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction has made improvements to the loading and unloading of our buses, and they've added new equipment to assist you. For the next few moments, we'll go over these new procedures designed to make your job easier and your passengers safer. We'll show you the three-way switch being installed on all new North Carolina school buses. We'll look at the hand signal requirements for boarding and offloading students. And we'll see how all of this works together to keep kids safe. Let's begin with the boarding process. All new buses come equipped with the three-way switch and some older models are being retrofitted in some counties. The new stop sign and door switch should make your job easier and accomplish many of the important tasks required during a stop. The first position on the switch is the closed position. The switch remains here while traveling and while you activate the amber lights 300 feet ahead of the bus stop. After you come to a stop, flip the switch to the second position. This will turn on all four red lights and activate the stop sign. Without the new switch, you activate the stop sign and the door as usual. Remember, at this point, students should still be at their bus stop. For students that must cross the road, a hand signal in the palm out position should be used reminding them to stay where they are. It has not yet been established that crossing is safe. Students will be trained to follow your signals. This enhanced procedure allows them extra protection from motorists that may not stop for your red lights. It also empowers the only school system employee on the scene, you, with the ability to make sure it is safe for students to step in the roadway. Just look at someone who wasn't paying attention. You can see in this dramatic video from spring 2015 taken right here in North Carolina. The next step is to check all mirrors and make sure traffic has come to a stop so it is safe to begin the boarding process. If equipped with the three-way switch, move the switch to the third position. At this point, all red lights remain illuminated. The stop sign is out and now the crossing arm and entrance door will open. Now, with traffic stopped, all lights on and the cross arm extended, it should be safe for your students to cross the road. You can let the students know with a thumbs up. This lets students know the boarding process is about to begin. They must then look both ways and then proceed to the bus with your next signal, a simple finger gesture pointing in the direction they will be walking. When everyone is safely on board and seated, move the switch back to the closed position and proceed to your next stop. To review, one, Activate the amber lights 300 feet before the stop. Two, after coming to a stop, red lights on and stop sign extended. Signal for the students to hold in place. Palm out. Three, move the new switch to position three to open the passenger door and extend the crossing arm. Check mirrors, check for traffic, then thumbs up and a point to cross. If at any time, you see that conditions may not be safe for any reason. Sound your horn and alert the students to danger. Procedures for exiting the bus are similar. As you approach your stop, activate the amber lights. After you stop, activate the stop sign and red lights. On this new switch, this is position two. Lights begin flashing and the stop arm extends. On the old switch, this also opens the door. At this point, you should scan the area for traffic that may still be moving. When you determine conditions are safe for students to exit, move the new switch to position three. The lights remain on and stop sign out. 
At this point, the cross arm will extend and the passenger door will open. Again, scan the area. When it is safe, you may allow the students to exit. Crossing students will be taught to move out and away from the bus. When you see it is safe, the students may be signaled to cross with the thumbs up and point left. When they reach the edge of the bus, students must stop, look both ways, and then proceed. Again, if you sense danger, you should sound the horn to alert students. All of these components working together will make for a safer trip for you and your passengers. The new equipment, your signals, and students' attention to their surroundings will only enhance the safety we strive for every day. On behalf of the Department of Public Instruction and the State of North Carolina, we thank you for your service and for working even harder to keep our students safe every day.